Hey, welcome to Socialism for All. Today's date is October 7, 2021. I have kind of a wild story for you today. This is out of Minneapolis, Minnesota, USA. Basically, last year, during the George Floyd Black Lives Matter protests, police rode around at night on the streets of Minneapolis, firing less lethal weapons at protesters from an unmarked van, and then a guy returned fire, not aware that these were cops because they were in an unmarked van shooting projectiles at people. And uh, we'll pick up the story from there. If you like this video, please click like and subscribe. Consider supporting us on Patreon. There's a link to Patreon in the video description. So we got two uh, related stories from the Star Tribune on this, also some video footage. Let's do the first one. So this is a story headline. Jury acquits man who fired at Minneapolis police in self-defense during unrest. According to charges, police in an unmarked van fired rubber bullets, and he returned fire with a handgun. This is by Star Tribune staff from September 2nd. It says, A St. Paul man was found not guilty on all charges of shooting at Minneapolis police officers during the unrest that followed George Floyd's killing this year. Following a trial in July, a Hennepin County jury acquitted Jaleel K. Stallings, 29, of eight counts, including second-degree attempted murder, first-degree assault, second-degree assault, and second-degree riot, in connection, they really threw the book at him, in connection with the May 30, 2020 incident. According to charges, police in an unmarked van patrolling the area of 15th Avenue S and Lake Street fired 40-millimeter marking rounds, commonly known as rubber bullets, at Stallings, and he returned fire with a handgun before he was arrested. Stallings' acquittal was first reported this week by the Minnesota Reformer in an article that said he was struck in the chest by a marking round and returned fire in self-defense. He did not know the projectiles were coming from officers because he couldn't see them in the unmarked white van, and he surrendered once he discovered that they were police, according to the Reformer. Let's watch some actual body cam video of the cops. Second, let me let me check your credentials, make a few phone calls just to verify who the fuck. They think they can do whatever they want. They have a little band. It's a fucking pussy. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're, they're they're fucking tri- people. I mean, over in St. Paul, they were right up. Yes, sir. We're uh, in the process of that. We gave it. We gave a few over to them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'll say if you want it, we'll fucking flank them. We'll fucking, we'll flank them. We just want to wait until we got to be so I mean, I, I got no problem with that. I love to scatter them, but I thought it's time to fucking put 100 yeah. people in jail. Yeah. Like, and, the, and just prove the mayor wrong about his white supremacist no, from out of state. I agree. Although, this group probably is predominantly white. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Because well, he's, he's not looting and fighting. Five, six other people said they're from Minneapolis and they're all white. Yeah. There is a march for 150 to 200 people in it. They're currently eastbound in Lake. That was a busy night. What a, it's, it's nice to hear for, that we've moved to. Tonight it was just nice to hear. We're going to go find some more people. Instead of chasing people around, yeah. we're going to hunt. You guys. <laughs>
Let's go. He's on the ground. Not down right there. Not down right there. Fucking piece of shit. You fucking piece of shit. Sorry, 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 sorry. Sorry, 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 sorry. Listen, listen, listen. Put your hands on your back. Listen, listen, listen. Put your hands on your back. Listen, listen, listen. Put your hands on your back. I'm trying, I'm trying. Put your hands on your back. I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying. There's a gun behind you. I'm trying, sir. I'm trying, sir. Not hard enough, get your hands behind your back. I'm trying, sir. I'm trying, sir. I'm trying, sir. 1281, sir. Priority. Shots fired. Two suspects in custody. Gun recovered. We are at. So yeah, there's a lot going on in those clips. I mean, we're not chasing people around. We're going to hunt people, the guy says. So yeah, this entire system of policing should not exist. This is, uh, it, it does need to be completely dismantled. So moving now to the second story. This is also, again, out of the Star Tribune. Headline, attorney for man cleared of returning fire in self-defense at Minneapolis police during riots releases evidence, body camera footage. Jaleel Stallings was acquitted of eight counts in connection with the incident. This is from October 5 yesterday by Chow Xiong and Mark Van Cleve. In fact, credit to Mark Van Cleve. Uh, that's the Twitter account where I got these videos from. So the story reads, the attorney for a man found not guilty on all charges of shooting at Minneapolis police officers during the unrest that followed George Floyd's killing last year has released evidence in connection with the incident, including body camera footage that shows he returned fire at police in self-defense before he surrendered and then was assaulted by officers while he was on the ground. So uh, there's a quote from the article, I'm skipping ahead a little bit, that the footage shows police riding down the street in a van firing the rounds, which those rubber bullets can fuck you up, especially if they hit you in the head. It's really bad. Uh, without warning at bystanders or yelling. They're also not yelling, go home. The footage then shows them encountering Stallings, who had a permit to carry a firearm in public, and did so because of the threat of white supremacists in the area, crouching behind his pickup in a parking lot near South 14th Avenue. At 10.53 p.m., an officer fired a single marking round at Stallings, striking him in the chest. Stallings, who according to his attorney, didn't realize that the unmarked van course was full of police officers you know if only they had vehicles that clearly said police on the side but seriously even if they were in a van marked police how fucked is it just riding around shooting at people from a vehicle anyway but this is where we're at now and this is also a democratically controlled state and a democratically controlled city this is not the republicans this is the democratic party Okay, anyway, so not realizing that the unmarked van was full of police officers, he returned fire three times as he ducked for cover. This guy thinks it's a roving gang of white supremacists, which, to be honest, it is. Just ones that have the official sanction of the state. So, quote, once in cover, Mr. Stallings learned that the occupants of the van were law enforcement officers, and Mr. Stallings immediately surrendered, his lawyer said in a statement. Nearby surveillance footage shows Stallings immediately go to the ground. Officer Justin Stetson and Sergeant Andrew Battelle punched and kicked him, who did not resist, as he said, listen, listen, sir, before he is pulled to a sitting position, bloodied and dazed. So Stallings rejected the plea deal that they offered him, which included a nearly 13-year prison term. That's, it's outrageous. They're going to have him go to prison for 13 years. So he didn't take the plea deal. He took it to trial and was acquitted. The jury was not having this. So I'll link the article for you to read more details. But this is just one story emerging uh, out of the 2020 uprisings last year. I mean, you remember all the footage of cop vans like driving into crowds of protesters and shit like that. It was widespread. If you have links to other good stories, 
please do share them uh, and we'll continue this kind of coverage. As things continue to get unstable in the United States, there will be more and more mass uprisings from time to time. I think that they will become more frequent. Obviously, we as Marxists want to give as much guidance and support as we possibly can to the masses as they do spontaneously start to stand up against capitalism, whether it is the great resignation and people are refusing to work or whether it is, you know, mass protests for nights on end uh, in city streets. Whatever it is, we need to do what we can to educate and support along the way. And people knowing what's up when things like this happen is super important. So please do share those resources. All right. I'm going to leave it there. What do you think? Leave a comment. Otherwise, thanks for listening. Thanks to the current patrons whose names are on the screen. If you'd like to help out, patreon.com slash socialism for all. You can get your name on the screen for as little as $2 a month. Every donation is helpful. I am spending a lot of time on the channel these days, so anything that you can support me with, very much appreciated. Also, if you want to support without a donation, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, all helps to boost the channel. Ultimately, whatever it is that you do to promote the message of socialism, thanks for doing it online and in your community. If there's a good organization in your community, please do join it, get involved, network with people in your area. That's crucial, and we will catch you in the next video.